Welcome. Um, welcome to the Part-Time Players Podcast. Um, my name is Reese Lagden. This is episode seven, and I'm with my usual co-host, Brad. How are you doing today, Brad? Hello, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Been busy? How's, you, how's your week been? Uh, yeah, busy also, you know, generally, with, you know, just with work. Um, been trying to fit in as much gaming as I can. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, yeah, just the usual, really. Um, about yourself i know you've got a move planned so i dare say you're quite uh you're quite up against it yeah as i did i say last week i can't remember i said last week but yeah i'm moving this friday so yeah i've got obviously been very busy with that trying to get things organized and ready um even having issues like something simple is like i need like moving boxes Okay, I went to like yeah, tesco's yeah. to get some moving boxes i was like uh, excuse me do you have any um boxes and they're like, yeah, we have some, but they're like flat and long. And I was like, yeah, okay, well, that's fine. Like, is it uh, what kind of size boxes you need? Normal? Like, I don't know how do you describe how do you describe a box? A box, yeah. It's square. What you want? You want um, crisp boxes? Uh, yes. What you, you know? That's I'm mean, coming from somebody who works in a shop. If anyone okay, comes, okay, you know, crisp boxes. I, that that one I need to yeah. ask for. Yeah. Well, back in the day, what, uh, when I worked in a shop, if anyone asked me for boxes, I would have said. No, even though they was just out in a warehouse ready to be recycled, <laughs> I, I just would have gone no. I, no, I don't have one. Sorry. So okay. you, you're lucky they are. You know they offered what you know what size and that because well maybe it was just me. I was just lazy, I suppose. But um, yeah, yeah, Chris. Well, I'm is, still going to complain because the boxes they've given me, they they brought them out. First of all, I was a fire. They gave me free. Like, come on. Are, to be fair, you're asking for free boxes. You can't really be you know that fussy. It's uh, yeah. It's a bit of a. Oh, he's, sh- he's showing me a box now, listeners. Yeah, that's a like, yeah, that's a produce. That's, that's like a produce box. Like yeah. that. Yeah, that's not the right box you need. I, I don't know what I'm going to put in that. Like, a, what that's, am I going to put? Yeah. Just walk down the street with my cans. That's a pro- like, That's like a. That's what like apples and that come in. That's you yeah. don't want to pineapples. It's written yeah. pineapples are yeah, written in capital letters go, on the side. Don't go to the produce department and ask for a box. You need to go to like someone on like yeah, you know, on the I grocery department. Like, uh, I don't know what's the till or the checkout where you get like cigarettes the checkout, from the kiosk. The kiosk is it the kiosk? The kiosk. I don't yeah. know. I don't know these sections of the supermarket. You know the the mystery box where you get yeah, cigarettes no. from i don't know i'm not a smoker yeah. i don't know these things yeah no well, no your, no lotto, mind, so. your lotto ticket and your cigarettes yeah uh, can i have a pack <laughs> i don't know I don't you know. don't know you my, don't that know. was my impression of smokers by the way well i i i, I you know i don't think all smokers sound like that so it's um, uh, excuse me uh, can i have some <laughs> Yeah, no, you, you've, you've gone to the completely, you need to find someone working on the shop floor and ask them if they've got boxes, you know, like the ones that, you, you fucked it up. I'm sorry, Reese. You, you fucked up your box, I don't, your, your, your I box don't game. I this is my fault. Well, I don't understand I'll tell you what you tight ass. I literally asked for a box. I then got questioned about the size of the box. I said, a normal, I said the word a normal box, which to me means a square, like you said, like a crisp box. They yeah. came out with these things. You then asked me how many I wanted. I said five. He didn't give me a normal oh. box and he didn't give me five. As far as I'm concerned, he fouled. I think you're being very he fired. I'm going to write very... a letter to Tesco to get this guy fired. I always said to Tesco, I think you're very ungrateful. Um, and I'll well, tell you what, just don't be such a tight ass and go and buy You can buy it moving, like a moving boxes from true, Argos. True. And I'm joking. He doesn't deserve so, to do his job. I am no, joking. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, no, don't. Yeah. That's pro- you got produce boxes there. That's, that's bad. That's bad for moving. Mm. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh yeah. I was, was going to, was going to bring it up at the beginning of the episode. Um, you, sh- you, hopefully you'll notice, uh, uh, an improvement in our audio so we've both got new mics now well i've had my mic for a while um reese has got his mic all set up um nice and shiny and we've changed the platform where we record because last weekend last week we said uh, our audio would be better and it wasn't until it was getting edited that we realized it was actually quite bad and um, we're blaming our old platform where we was uh recording so we've moved to zoom now haven't we so it should be it should be better now yeah, it should be better. Yeah, the audio quality um, should be much improved. I know we say each week, yeah, and it doesn't seem to be improving, but I can assure you we are definitely making the investments. 
Yeah. Obviously, we've bought the pro version of Zoom now to make sure that the audio quality is the best we can have and yeah. that we can actually do the duration of the podcast that we need to do. And also, we've invested in mics and equipment and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's obviously all work in progress. Obviously, we're on a journey to try and make the best product possible. And yeah, thank you for sticking with us for the first yeah, thank six you. episodes. And obviously, hopefully, um, yeah, I'm not you're going to reap the benefits, but. Obviously, you get a full entertainment, you know. Yeah, exactly. And, and I hope yeah. you, um, we are doing a better job than the guy in Tesco's, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. You know, but, yeah, you no. know maybe a yeah. running gag each week, you know. Yeah. I bitch about the g- no, yeah. no. I Reese's appreciate box the adventures. But, um, about another incompetent company <laughs> going on to BT now. Oh, okay. With my move, and we could have some disruptions in terms of our recording times because moving and stuff well i'm moving to my new apartment is like a new build it was only built like i don't know it was finished built i don't know like three weeks ago and Gosh. apparently bt are having issues which is by by the way a telecoms company here in the uk for our international listeners um that yeah they're basically just having issues getting it all sorted so they did I did speak to them last on Thursday, like last week, and they kind of said, oh, give us the weekend. It's been sent to a specialist and you should get confirmation email that it's all done like over the weekend. And I kind of said to her, like, because I've had issues with um, BT in the past, I kind of said, how long should I leave it before I give you a call back? And she said, oh, maybe give it till Tuesday because, yeah, we should definitely have sorted it by Tuesday. It's We're recording this on Monday evening, by the way, and I've had no confirmation from BT. So um, I will be calling them tomorrow. I'm sure I'm going to probably have the same conversation. There's going to be no record of any conversation with me before. They probably don't even know who I am. And well, it's going to still start again. And before you blame me, Brad, well, I was before gonna, you I was blame gonna say, me... Yeah, I was always going to say, you definitely gave them the right postcode. So we know that's, that, 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 that didn't cause any issues. Okay, so. yes. Yes, the first time I called them, I gave them the wrong postcode. Mm. However, mm. I did correct that when mm. I called them the next time. So I called them on the Tuesday last week, gave them the wrong postcode, and then called them on the Wednesday with the right postcode, got it all sorted, and then she called me back on the Thursday and kind of said she still couldn't do it, blah, blah, blah. It's been sent to a specialist. It should get done over the weekend, but yeah, it's not done. Did so, she yeah. say to you, did mm. she say to you, see you next Tuesday? Because that is that... that that means something totally different. Now. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you never said you'd see me. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll just walk, yeah. you know. And I'll, yeah. Well, you, know, you never know. But yeah, Wait till so, next Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Um, well, yeah. But if there is any disruption in in, uh, in Reese's new ball band, we're going to record a few. So we've got a few backed up. So there won't be, uh, we won't be missing a week. Um, yeah, we are definitely coming into that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, for our, our lucky listeners um, who have, uh, you know, stuck with our bad audio and us not knowing really... Uh, what we're doing podcast wise so yeah we're having it we're having we have uh, episodes banked up so yeah yeah we definitely won't miss anything which is good yeah no yeah no we definitely are committed to make sure that the importance of us um well submitting yeah. publishing whatever you want to call it every week obviously it's yeah. a weekly podcast so yeah we will stick to that and we've got some plans for weeks where i have our I can't record for some reason or Brad can't record because I know you're going away um, in a couple of weeks. So yeah, mm-hmm. we've got to have something planned for that. So yeah, got things in the works in the background, but um, talking about work and stuff this weekend, obviously here in the UK, gyms opened and yeah, I went both days and I'll tell you what, my body is feeling it. I am, I am absolutely in agony. It's you're just, just trying like, to show the off. joints and stuff. Huh? Yeah. Just trying to show off that you're a, a, you know, a, a, a gym free, uh, you know, user. Well, it's, a, it's an audio podcast, so there's not much to, you know, show uh, well, off. Unfortunately, really. I can see you. So, you know, it's. Uh, okay, well, just the head. You know. To be fair, I, I'm pretty sure I look worse. So, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, no. no I feel, sorry for, I feel sorry for you, if I'm honest with you. But, um, yeah, no, uh, I don't go to gym. Um, so, the, I actually don't call it a gym, I call it the guy. I don't go to the guy. Okay, <laughs> um, so, uh, because I'm, I just don't. Um, and since lockdown happened, um, obviously my activity levels have got even less. So working from home, so I was trying to get a little bit more active, a little bit more fitter. So started yeah. using a treadmill, using this app, 
um, you know, to to slowly introduce you into it and like walking and jogging and it's going really well. Uh, and then yesterday um, I was using it and as I was doing my last jog, um, considering that it's only for 90 seconds, so it's not major, uh, I was doing my last jog and then I felt something like, it felt like it felt like something hit the back of my my calf and like a pop, and then I was limping. And since <laughs> Your then calf it's popped. yeah. Since then it's been hurting, and you know it feels a bit better today actually. Um, I but, don't know if that's possible. What to pop? Yeah, muscle well, popping. I did I did look it up, and it said like um, a a calf strain. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's it feels a bit better today, and obviously I'm going to power through it because I've mm. you know, I've actually. I've only been doing it a week. Did you stretch beforehand? No, I did stretch. You do like a warm-up walk, um, but obviously that wasn't enough. So from now on, I'll, yeah, I'll be doing the stretching. Uh, I don't want to carry on with it because actually it, I was thinking when I, the first time I'd done it, I, it's like three, three runs a week. Um, well, if anyone in the UK is listening, it's called Catch the 5K. Everyone's probably heard of it. It's quite popular. So I'm doing that. Um, I've got advertisement there? Yeah, I've got the... Uh, gold olympic gold medalist michael jordan in my ear telling me how well i'm doing so that's that's nice okay um, no sorry not, did i say michael jordan i said michael johnson sorry uh, michael, michael jordan was uh <laughs> michael yeah, jordan you yeah got... <laughs> he's, just, he's giving me some uh, some basketball tips as well yeah you got um, old mj yeah they the time hmm. um sorry michael johnson so done the first week and then i'm actually you know, enjoying it i was dreading it but um it's it's all right uh so i think stretching is key and you know so uh, just I prepare a lot for the podcast. I need to start preparing more for the, my exercise routine. So okay, yeah. well next time, well if I go to Chicago, can you hook me up with like ball tickets? Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, we're 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 mates. Maybe you can edit that bit out when I called in Michael Jordan. No, maybe. Oh, no, I think that's no. that's a great part. Staying, yeah, there's oh, no okay. there's no chance that's getting edited uh, out. Well. You know. Well, sorry, everyone. I've you might even call this episode Brad <laughs> Meets MJ. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Yeah, it's Ma- know, Michael, yeah. Michael Johnson. Is, uh, you can, you can, and you can pick whoever. But I thought if someone's going to be telling me how to run, Olympic gold medalist is probably, you know, good good place to go. So Yeah, I'm, well, I'm sure yeah. Michael Jordan can also tell you how to run. Yeah, he probably could, sure yeah. He, he did plenty yeah. of laps up and down that court. So. Yeah, apparently yeah. Michael Jordan's a really bad tipper. That's what I've heard. Not a very good tipper. Who? Michael Jordan. Oh, the Michael Jordan. Yeah, the Michael Jordan. Said, yeah, like, Michael Jordans, like all of them, like every Michael no, Jordan. No, no, yeah, all of Michael Jordans. Yeah, uh, no, the Michael Jordan. Yeah, bad tipper apparently. So is yeah, he? Okay. okay. Well, he's got yeah. plenty Rich of money. people tip bad. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's just you know. I think, I think if you've got, got less money, you got less money. You tip more to make it look like you have more money, but really you don't. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I feel like it. I, I reckon he tips. He looks like a guy that will give a good tip. Yeah. If he were in and, Chicago or whatever. I'd be surprised yeah. by that. How much does, like, Jeff Bezos, how much do you reckon he tips? I like, reckon he don't tip nothing. I reckon he record. just, he just yeah, doesn't no, give a tip at all. Don't tip how much, at all, no. Like, if you, if you was, like, a waiter and you waited on him, you would expect, like, give me a couple of hundred. Come mm. on, like... It's nothing to you. A grand would have been nothing to him. He's a, a grand, billionaire. Exactly, yeah, so. a grand, yeah. Just, just yeah. can I have a million? Like, can I have a yeah. million dollars? And just so, uh, like, and he, he could happily sign it and wouldn't even care. It's mental, but there, yeah. Talking um, about um about billions, I accident I made a mistake at work and I accidentally you transferred um, your billions to no, yeah, I accidentally <laughs> I accidentally um put saying put a bit of uh, like data in wrong and it um. It was, I was supposed to like put in seven. You want to pounds. confess to this on the internet? No, yeah, they they know. Yeah, actually, okay. no, I'm not going. No, I'm not going to. No, I'll just yeah, no, it's <laughs> fine. Yeah, no one cares. It's fine. But, I committed uh, fraud at work everywhere. Yeah, no, yeah, no. it was a fraud. It was just a mistake on my part. But you know, it's uh, I just thought I mean, halfway through it, I was like, no one, no one cares, and it doesn't really tie in with Jess Bezos at all. So I don't know what I'm talking about. So no. yeah. Okay. Well, it kind yeah. of goes with our usual pattern of speech, you know, just yeah, just nothing rambling. relates, just talking yeah. absolute nonsense. Yeah. For like an hour and a half each week. So yeah, yeah that's what people really. love. That's what our listener loves. He loves it. Yeah. You know, or, you know, you know, listeners, um, listeners, or our listeners. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yep, yep, really, yep. yeah. Um, thank do. Yeah, you know, we, we when we say thank you for for listening, uh, going back to the audio because. 
we know it ain't been great so if you have stuck around that is great and uh, and thank you yeah but um moving on from our weekly going you know goings on um we will kick off with the news if you want to want to kick the news off Reese? i can kick the news off so the first one that was gonna go with with no particular order is about crash bandicoot 4 so recently crash um bandicoot got basically sat out um well sent out sorry i think they've got some codes um to um the media etc and basically i think they got to play a couple of levels within the new game and basically the thing is is that it's got the nostalgia feeling of the old school challenge um and i wasn't sure if that was a good move um whether or not they should make it a bit more easy and accessible for more players or new players or is it better to target to nostalgia point of view and trying to retain kind of the players that have played it originally um from a person that did play the originals and then played the remake i can kind of tell you that um it just didn't really age very well in my opinion and i didn't enjoy it that much i kind of played i don't know i started the first one like crush one and i did like i don't know four or five episodes or not episodes mm. but levels whatever yeah. and then i kind of thought uh I'm getting a little bit bored of this. Maybe I should jump to Crash 2. A bit more interesting. I did about six levels in that. Once again, got a little bit bored. Then I jumped to Crash 3 and did like one level. And then just thought, nah. And then I never put it on again. And then it ended up getting uninstalled and never been reinstalled again. So that is basically what happened when I played Crash Remake. So I'm kind of like, uh, more of the same. It's kind of then just made me think, I'm out. This is not this is not a game for me. Um, I kind of hope was hoping that I know it was kind of hopeful, but I was kind of hoping they would like reinvent the not reinvent the wheel, like expecting it to be crash, whatever, but make it a little bit not turn it into Ratchet and Clank, but maybe make it a little bit more not open world, obviously still keep the platform, but add something a little bit different, new, yeah. maybe modernize it, make it a little bit more interesting rather than this is more crash but prettier and whatever. I don't know. That doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't appeal to me. I don't know what yeah, you yeah. think. Well, I'd never played the originals. I think I've said before on this. Um, I did get the remake um, for my girlfriend and she was playing on it and she was really enjoying it. Um, but then she said she couldn't remember it being this tough and she, I was like yourself, she was playing it a bit and then she just kind of got a bit bored and she never played it again. Um, I think it comes down to what we've spoken about before. You you, you get nostalgia for these games you used to play. Um, so you pick them up again, but then you realise like, oh, you, you kind of get the hit of nostalgia that you, you want and then you're kind of like, oh yeah, I know this. So I'm going to, you know, not going to play it no more. The same with me as Spyro really excited when the remake was happening got it played it loved it but i've not really gone back to it i you know, i didn't finish a, any of them um so yeah it's it's interesting that they they are putting it as like the old school challenge um for me i don't yeah i don't really like the challenge games um like like i like challenging games but not you know not overtly challenging so like uh, dark souls and bloodborne I don't play those type of games because they're just not that fun for me uh because like like we say we kind of fit gaming in where where we can um you know limited time and, and whatnot so the games i do play i want it to have i just want to have fun that's the main reason i play games is for fun so uh i won't be picking picking up crash for um because yeah it just doesn't appeal to me but it's interesting to see what other people are going to say when it does come out whether or not it's uh you know good like a good level of challenge or if it's if, if it's you know tailored to a new audience and whatnot but yeah for me I, I i i probably won't be won't be playing it unless they want to send us a review code and then yeah then we will it's, you know, <laughs> so. yeah 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 I'll definitely i'll give it a go if they give us a review code but yeah i'm not buying it um yeah i totally agree with you even with like when you said about bloodborne and uh, Dark Souls and Demon Souls and all them type Souls games, whatever from from software. Um, yeah, I generally avoid those games because, like you said, the level of challenge. I don't see it as like a challenge and something to come over and find that entertaining. I just kind of find it frustrating and not very fun at all. And I'd be mean, like you said, well, obviously we are part time players, and 
the limited time I do get to play games. I generally just want them to have fun. It's like my downtime. It's my time to unwind or whatever I fancy doing when I've got a bit of like downtime and I just want to waste time. Obviously, essentially, gaming is um, a waste of time, like watching movies or films, whatever, or TV or reading a book or fiction or whatever you're doing. Obviously, however you want to spend your spare time is obviously entirely up to you. And obviously, I like to spend most of my spare time playing games because that is my famous, not famous, my favorite form of media. So when I do get an opportunity to do that, I do like to just play generally just something yeah. I just find enjoyable. Which A fun is game. Obvious. Exactly, yeah. Which yeah. sometimes I think where we're trying to, where the media, not the media, but the genre of like entertainment is trying to evolve or trying to mature. I think some of these games have almost lost their fun element to try and be serious or to have some kind of point or, do you know what I mean? It's sometimes yeah, yeah. It's like a thin line of like, this is no longer fun, but I get what you're trying to achieve. But a bit like with like, um, um, what was that Kachima game? Um, Death Stranding. Okay, yeah, like yeah. Death Stranding and obviously with Last of Us. Obviously, they're very like artsy games where they've clearly got a point. This is their story, but... I feel like maybe the element of fun has been lost in both of them. Yeah. Because they're trying to push like gaming in a certain direction, which is good. But also you want to have and play fun games. Exactly. Yeah. No, I completely agree with you there. Um, yeah. For me, gaming is a fun and a little bit of escapism. So, uh, yeah, for them to you know, take the decision to go, you know, the more challenging. We might be overblowing it, though. It could be, you know, like people saying it's too challenging, but it, it could just be, you know, it might not be. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what the reviews are like when when it does actually get a general release. Um, and I say, unless they send us a code, then, yeah, I doubt we'll be, we'll be playing it. But um, Yeah, would you on, uh, we get a meta, meta prediction? Uh. What do you mean? Sorry, oh, what should I give it? Give it a prediction. Yeah, like its overall score. What do you reckon it'll? I get? reckon it'll get eighty-three. Ooh, in the eighties. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, mm. that's my that's my um, oh, prediction. Mm. Yeah, but, uh, I would yeah. say mid to high seventies. Okay, mm, seven out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. I think seventy-eight, seventy-seven, kind of around that mark. I can see it. Yeah, get in. I think people are going to enjoy it, but it's just not going to wow people, if you yeah. know what I mean. I think a lot Especially of people... The, when's it coming out? October? November? Uh, October, I think. Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, mm. it's coming out in all, a mix of all them, like, yeah, all the generation become, yeah. games. And if you're comparing it to those, I think it's just not really... Like that's kind of like the perfect game to bring out in, like, January or February. Do you know what I mean? Like, a, mm. a month yeah. when there's nothing about... And even maybe I would have thought back again if there was like nothing to play. Like even now, it's like the perfect game to bring out now. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, is Avengers like the big, the next big like triple A game, which is what? When's that coming? September? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, we've got a whole of August really with, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say that. There's no big games. I don't think there is as far as I'm aware. Yeah. yeah, I think August is quite a dry spell, to be honest. Yeah, I think every game that was coming out in August has kind of moved. Yeah, well, talking about games coming out, we've got the we've got the Mafia remake. Um, had like a um, a gameplay, like a little um, like a um, what you call it, like a, a documentary gameplay uh, yeah, trailer. Yeah, gameplay trailer and like behind the scenes. So that the one of the like developers, um, I think it's developers talking about you know what they've been doing, re- how to how they remade it. Uh, and yeah. the game blade, they had some side by side comparisons, obviously of the two thousand and two release, and it looks amazing. Uh, the remake, so that gets released on the twenty fifth of September, um, and it just looks great. Yeah, I've never played, never played the original Mafia, so I'm I'm excited to, uh, you know, to play it for the first time. Are you going to get it? I'm going to get it. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, because I think you was you on the fence beforehand before seeing that trailer. Uh, yeah. Well, I said I was. You know, I was, in, I was, I was interested in it um, because I said I never played it. Never played any of the uh, mafia games. Uh, the only like kind of mafia game I played was uh, I played the Godfather Two. 
um, okay, back yeah. on the 360. That was really good, actually. I, com- got, I completed that. I got all the tro- achievements and everything for that one, so it was really good. Um, but yeah, look, it looks like looks like The Godfather, um, and it just looks fun. Um, they've like they said they've remade, uh, entirely remade the city and redesigned it. Um, so, but it's got all the the landmarks and everything from the original, um, and some of the original team who made the 2002 version have been working on it as well. So it does look like it's a bit of a yeah. labour of love. Yeah, so. they haven't like sent it to another publisher or studio, whatever developer. Sorry, Hangar 13, like the team that did all the Mafia trilogy. Yeah. They're the ones that are doing the remake, so they're yeah. not like they've like sent it to like I don't know like a blueprint or someone like that who kind of does the remakes. Yeah, yeah. But actually, the people that made it are doing it, which you would think it'll give it the love and care that it deserves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it does look really good. Um, I'm excited to play that one. Um, so yeah, 25th of September that gets released. Yeah, uh, and yeah. yeah no, I'm really watching the trailer before we move on. Um, yeah, I was quite stunned with how good it looked. Like it almost looks like too good to be true because yeah. it almost looks like besides like cyberpunk or whatever, it's almost close to being like one of my most anticipated games coming this year. Now yeah, I see the trailer. Crazy. Honestly, anybody yeah. that hasn't seen it, just yeah, go, go on and YouTube watch, yeah. and just show Matthew. I'll put it on um, reveal. We'll, we'll, we'll like, put it in the uh, link. last week and it looks Twitter. absolutely unbelievable. And I really hope it sells well so we can get a Matthew four, but it's like set in that period again because mafia i never played mafia one but i played mafia two which made me fall in love with the yeah. franchise from only playing one game and then like i said before mafia three was a bit of disaster um technically so yeah then going back to mafia one and doing this remake on paper it looks absolutely fantastic i just hope when it does release there ain't some kind of yeah bugs and, and all that yeah yeah because they're not I don't know how much they're charging for it, but I think they're only charging like twenty pounds, thirty pounds for it. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's really good. So I'm like, mm, mm. yeah, this is a bit suspicious. Is it getting a physical release? Is it just that? Is it just digital? Um, I'm not sure. Mm. That's a good question. Maybe. Yeah. Because when when um. It did get released. You could buy the trilogy, I think, for like thirty pounds, right? Which obviously was all three games. I think it was thirty pounds. It might have been a little bit more. And then, or you could just buy like um, individually. Yeah, and I think individually it was like fifteen or twenty or something like that. Okay, yeah, no, that, it, that, it, that, I really gone from being interested to. Yeah, quite excited to play it. So um, I will definitely be uh, getting that one. Um, I'm trying to look to see if it is getting a physical release. Um, and I can't see... Uh, no, it's got, it's got Mafia for Definitive Edition will be entitled entitled upon release starting on 25th. It doesn't say if it's... Uh, yeah, no, that is the physical version, though. Thirty four ninety nine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's getting a thing in your physical. Uh, oh, okay. There, there's, there's no, there's no plans to do a physical release of the uh, physical edition of the Mafia trilogy in the Americas. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what that means, but okay, yeah, cool, cool. But yeah, no, looking forward to that, and I'll put that link that um, I the of the. Uh, the gameplay that I watched, I'll put that on our Twitter. So if you want to look, uh, it'll be on there. Yeah, definitely. Check it out um, because, yeah. yeah, that trader by itself, although you shouldn't get too hyped by traders because no. it can be a little bit misleading. Yeah. But from what I saw, and it's even gameplay, it's not just like a cinematic trader yeah, that looks good. They, but yeah, they show it, uh, an entire mission, I think, in that, in that one. So mm. yeah. yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. No. Wasn't uh, yeah. So uh, speaking of um, well, it's not uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, PlayStation, um, well, we wasn't speaking of PlayStation, but I tried to I tried to segue then. It didn't really work. Um, yeah, but the game is on PlayStation. It so is on PlayStation. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, PlayStation have doubled the amount of uh, units they want 
to be ready at launch um, to, to fit its 10 million units they want now, which is interesting. For the PS5, um, yeah. For the PS5, yeah, sorry. So, um, yeah, so on release, they want 10 million units available. Uh, so I don't know if they've done some research and they think they're going to need that sort of quantity because everyone's going to be jumping straight in. Um, does it, you know, suggest anything on the price? Are people going to be able to afford to go straight in on the new console? But, um, yeah, it, it'd be nice to have the availability because I think in the past when you've gone to get um, a new console, if you're on the fence and you're not too sure whether you want one or not, if you make your mind up and then you go to get one, nine times out of ten is you go to get one and there's no availability, they're sold out everywhere. So having the numbers... Um, would be good you know um you know the, av- the availability there would be uh would be a nice change for a console uh next gen console release yeah definitely definitely so um i still probably won't pick one up straight away though i probably will wait till um a little while down the line down the road yeah it's always that thing isn't it it's like some companies play the game and i know nintendo tried doing it where they they underproduce the product to create like yeah demand yeah demand because obviously it's not in the shop so then people crave it and want it so clearly that's what i think they might have been initially doing with the five million units and then i don't know if they had like a mole in the at, in microsoft and they kind of realized what xbox are actually offering at launch and we're like mm. hold on wait a minute i think a lot of people are going to want a playstation rather than jump ship obviously we can talk about that when we go on to the showcase in a bit but um yeah it's a very very interesting with how the two different um well platforms are kind of going there's clearly going in different direction and how it's going to pan out in the next generation is very very fascinating but clearly um yeah, PlayStation are going in one direction and Xbox are going in another. But yeah, in terms of the units doubling, yeah, I, I think it's a good thing because it almost gives you that anxiety of like me who's going to pre-order it and get it day one. It's kind of like, oh, am I going to be able to get it day one where now I feel like I you will. Be able to. will. Yeah. So I'd say, um, I'd yeah, think I'm pleased about that. If you was going to get one and you knew you're going to get one, you're probably still going to pre-order it anyway. But for people, you know, like you know, like myself, where I might think, actually, no, I do want one. You know, for you know, if I wanted one for for you know doing this, or uh, or you just want to jump straight in, it'd be nice. Yeah, knowing that there was a bit more availability there mm. for if, uh, you know go and get one. Although I don't know if it's just in America, but I think it must happen over here as well. But although you pre-order things, if they sell out, then you lose your pre-order. Really. I've heard that for quite a few people that where they pre-ordered like switches because the switch was in such big demand when it first came out. I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, where no one you couldn't buy it anywhere, and I think people like pre-ordered it on like Amazon or whatever, and then they cancelled your pre-order because it was like, sorry, we sold too many, and that was it. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, that's pretty shit. Yeah. I've so only... although you pre-ordered it, you could still get that email saying, "Yeah, sorry." So, it's too so bad, yeah. people pre-ordered it before you did, you know. So shit out of luck. Yeah, Brad the Lad, whatever, ordered 800 yeah, before that's, you yeah. did, so I yeah. like can't buy one, you know, yeah. some kind of, you know, dickhead like that, you know, yeah. did that. So, yeah, there are there are dickheads about, so, you know, be careful, people. I've only ever re- pre-ordered a console once, and that was the limited edition Xbox 360 Star Wars one. The one that um, looked like R two D two, and the controller was gold, <laughs> like C three PO. Okay. And uh, when you turned it on, it made R two D two noises. So, um, yeah, that's the only that's the only console I've ever pre ordered, and it was worth it. So, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. No. Big geek. Big geek. Um, and now I thought we've got another PlayStation story. Uh, Spider Man uh, is apparently Spider Man Miles Morales. Um, is apparently going to be able to run at 60 frames per second and 4K, um, and we don't know if that's uh, like an upgrade, like a, an upgrade version or or standard. Um, so, uh, what's your thoughts on that, Reese? Uh, well, reading the article that we got it from, they kind of said it was in the performance mode, which, well, kind of confused me a little bit because 
I kind of presume the whole point of upgrading them is that every game would be 4K in 60 frames. Yeah, that would yeah. Be standard. Yeah. It's kind of like on the Pro, you have the performance mode or um, I can't remember what the other option is now, but Shit you basically mode. choose for the frames or you choose for like the resolution, don't you? You have like resolution yeah. mode or... I, I don't know. I've got an old school. I've got an original PS4, uh, so yeah, I, got, I, I, I do don't know. Pro. Yeah, so you either have resolution or performance or i don't know i can't remember what it is but you have, basically have to choose between one yeah, because yeah. it can't handle both i thought the whole point of having this machine that is basically five times more powerful is that you would always always have get option. it yeah, as standard, yeah i don't yeah. know why there would be a performance mode you know just yeah just, well obviously it all depends if you've got you know it's, it goes without saying if you've got a 4k tv um but yeah i can get what you mean yeah if you're if you're gonna um spend uh, hundreds of pounds on a new console for the next gen you want it to be always yeah always or you know always performance it's kind of like when the ps xbox 360 and the ps3 come out it went from the component cables to hdmi you always had you know um yeah or oh, yeah you, you always had you know hd uh you know the better visuals so I get what you mean. Yeah, it's kind of um, maybe it's just because it's a, you know it's one of the first games that's getting launched on the PS4. As uh, as the, as it goes on, then people, you know, developers will get better making games for it. So it will just be it will become standard. Yeah, or it might be just down to poor communication. Maybe. Think, yeah. Do you remember after the PlayStation event, um, everybody wasn't sure if it was DLC and everybody was like losing their minds. It was like, no, it's not DLC. It's just kind of yeah, like a yeah. shorter experience. It's standalone. They yeah. call it like a standalone DLC or whatever it is. But yeah. yeah, this might be the same thing again. It's like they're calling it a performance mode, but it's just some kind of marketing term that they think is um, sounds sexy or whatever. But in reality to gamers, it makes it sound like they've got more than one mode, which, yeah, yeah it's not a big deal like if that's the mode you just turn it on you turn it off it's like when people i saw a few people talking about mafia again that were moaning because the original mafia apparently had no hud like it had no map or anything like that and everybody was moaning that it's now got like a map it's like for years you've had the option to turn that off and on what yeah exactly yeah yeah. like you could just if you don't want it on just turn it off turn it off yeah it's never really bothered me like huds i I don't get yeah those are never it's never really yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't mind having a HUD on on screen, but yeah, everyone's different, I suppose. Um, yeah, if you want more, yeah, the no more realism and that. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I think it, it, it wait wait and see to see if it is. Um, like I said, I do think it of down the line it will get better. Um, you know, the perform like performance wise. So uh, yeah, you'll be able to review that one, Reese, because obviously you're getting a PS5 on launch. So yeah, that'll be that'll be down to you. Um, yes. Yeah, and playing it in your bachelor pad. So, yep. yeah. Um, which uh, which moves us on to um, go a little bit of Ghost of Tsushima news. So it's become yeah. it's the uh, is it the fastest selling new IP? Yes, on it is. PlayStation. Yeah, um, which is very very impressive. Yeah, uh, and Even there's um, and stuff. they didn't anticipate that it uh, how well it would do in Japan because I think they was thinking that it's made by a Western country uh, company. Um, you know, taking, uh, making a game about the you know samurai, and uh, they weren't sure how well it performed. But they've actually got stock issues out there now because everyone it, it's in such high demand. So they're trying to get uh, get more copies out there, and they're telling people to download it on PSN. So um, yeah, it's doing really well. It's doing, you know, it's doing, yeah, it's critically doing as well, I believe it's been received yeah. in Japan. I've been looking at this article from um, GameIndustry.biz. Uh, to give them credit for it, I think they said the other two games were Skyrim and GTA V. Okay. That uh, puts, um, obviously, a Sucker Punch game in distinct company, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. Nothing short of being in the same centres of Skyrim and GTA V. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, um, I don't think, yeah. You're the last was... two of the biggest games ever, so. The Last of Us 2 didn't do very well out there. I know that um, they, that, I know that didn't perform out there at all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's a great game. I was, I've been playing it a week. Um, I still, I, I'm still in the first act. So, 
that's, it's because, okay, that's act one yeah yeah, act one, yeah, yeah okay. i've been exploring and doing a lot of side quests um so i don't know how many hours i've put into it because um i don't think there's like a i don't could see anywhere where it tells you um but i just love it it's just it's brilliant um going like more on what we said last week but like the the more places you explore the visuals just get better like the environments are just amazing um and there's such good little touches as well i don't know if you notice like um when you ride riding uh, or walking as Jin, uh, and you ride or walk through the, the long grass he kind of like he puts his hand out to touch the grass which i yeah. think like it's a tiny little detail but it just makes it a little bit more realistic mm. and it just he does it when he's riding the horse as well yeah he like yeah that leans he i don't leans know why over, I'm, yeah. I'm acting it out no one else can see it except you but he leans out and touches. it's just it's little things like that um make it such you know it's just such a good game i'm really enjoying it it could possibly be on my game of the year list i don't know um you know like number one but um i'm gonna do more of the campaign um get past the first act uh just because obviously i want to progress with it um but yeah, the combat. I've got some like yeah, the co- the combat. It's just it makes you feel, it makes you feel like a samurai. I, I don't know what a samurai feels like. Being a samurai feels like, but it makes you feel <laughs> it, it makes you feel powerful. Like if you, if, you know, if you parry just in time, and once you start using the upgrade system, like you said, I think you said, um, you kind of become uh, you become a lot more powerful. Because I was dying a lot. Um, I didn't play it for a week. Picked it up, and it took me a little while to get the control roles um you know to get you know get back on track but now i've upgraded and i'm parrying like you got all these upgrades and you just feel powerful um i tend not to use the stealth a lot i just enjoy going in there calling them out they come out i've upgraded the standoff so i can take three of them out in one go and it's just great it's just Mm. yeah it's just um it's did you get the trophy for that uh for what sorry there's a trophy not i don't think this is spoilery um of killing the maximum number of enemies in standoff uh maybe i've got a trophy for doing te- 20 perfect parries okay so i got that one um but yeah it's just it's just it's so much fun um i don't know uh, i i don't know if you what you do i i tend to you know you can open the doors those like you know like the um the the the, 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 like the paper doors you can open them or you can just smash yeah. through them i just smash through them I'm like Homer. <laughs> I'm like Homer Simpson, just walk, just walking through these, you know, just walking through these doors. Okay, this, I don't uh, think I've ever yeah. smashed one. It's like no, I don't need to open it. I'll just smash. Yeah, this is poor little, poor little peasant's house. That's all they got left. Smashed doors gone. I'm in, nicking all their stuff. So, and uh, I was playing it yesterday, and I was doing this outpost, and I was like, I hadn't unlocked all the stances, so I wanted to observe the leader before I killed him. And I'm just watching, and it's like two bears that's come out of nowhere, just t- t- like charged into the outpost, and just started, started killing everyone. And I was just watching, like just watching. I think by the end, it was only the leader left. So it's uh, little random things like that. There's a couple yeah. of bears coming in, just absolutely uh, just murdering everyone. Yeah. Uh, it's good, and the, the story is really good as well. It's it, it it's, I don't know. It's just such a good game. Um, like, yeah, like I say, the combat is, is uh, for me, it's fluid. Um, it's, you know, it's switching between stances, like the different stances and um, effective against different enemies. It's, it's easy to, you know, to switch. One negative, um, a couple of negatives, actually. Um, I kind of forget uh, where everything's mapped to. So if you want to change your throwing, um, throwing stuff, and I unlocked black powder bombs, and I haven't used them because I don't actually know whereabouts they are in my inventory to equip them um so that's one thing the controls a little you, bit dicey. you don't you don't equip them oh you don't equip they're them. always equipped okay that's why then um okay so that yeah that, that's just me so and another you thing just is basically press l2 to do oh, the right. bow so then yeah. when you've got that option for the bow you then have the option of the like you said the black powder and you also have an option for sticky bomb no, sticky bomb is the quick throw stuff. Oh yeah, so that's, that's with the kunai. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, wind chimes. Wind chimes. Yeah, wind chimes. Yeah. Wind chime, wind yeah. Chimes, yeah. So. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it's with that stuff. Okay. Um, and the other little gripe I had was the camera. Sometimes, like you're okay. fighting, and the camera just kind of if it. Like I was trying to do it. I was in the middle of a fight, and the camera kind of went behind a tree, and I couldn't see any. I literally couldn't see anything was going on. Yeah. um 
but apart from those two little bugbears, it, it's it's a brilliant game, um, and I'm really enjoying playing it. And I'm I'm, I'm going to I'm look forward to playing more and progressing in the story. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I doubt I would have completed it by next week either, because I we 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 will do like a little spoiler discussion, won't we, when we're both finished with it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, hopefully we can. Yeah. I don't know if we can do it next week, but yeah, within the next couple of weeks, yeah, we should yeah. both be done. I am kind of going through it very slowly as well now because I'm not on Act One; I'm on Act the third act. I think it's the final act as well. Oh, okay. Um, and I kind of stop doing the story. Like I am now, I am the ghost without spoiling it, and um, and I'm just now clearing out the whole map because I've looked at the trophy list and I'm kind of like. I think this is quite an obtainable platinum, and I'm going to platinum this. So it's I've the, just uh, been ticking all the boxes. I've cleared out the whole, so the bottom area of the island, which you probably only locked. There's like three parts of the island. You were already okay, got the yeah. part, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I've completely cleared that out. So every single outpost, every single everything, like it's all like done. I don't yeah. have to do anything in that whole area anymore. Um, and... Yeah, I'm just on the second and third, so I'm just clearing those out, and then I'll continue with the story. So, are all I'm, the collectibles? I've got to do quite a few side missions, though. I've got there's quite a few of those. Yeah, I, every time I go somewhere, there's someone else you talk to, and they give you a new side mission. Yeah, um, but yeah, they're in, quite they are enjoying. Some of them are a little bit um, samey, but yes. uh, yeah, I, I, I do kind of like, you know, yeah, you go somewhere, the Mongols have killed someone, and you kill them. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I say I'm really enjoying playing it. Um, I. The last time I enjoyed a game, playing a game this much was like the first half of The Last of Us 2. So, uh, yeah, it's... Um, which was not that long ago. Which wasn't that long ago, no. I know, hope... literally the game you played prior to this. Yeah. The last time yeah, yeah. was two weeks ago. Well, you know, hopefully the the second half of this game doesn't end as bad as The Last of Us 2, but um, I don't think no, it will. No, it's a, it's it's, a lot it, safer. Yeah, it's... Uh, um, yeah, like you say, I'm going a little bit more slow. Um, talking about Platinum... Platinuming the blah, 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 platinuming the game. Yeah. Um, are all the collectibles in with the platinum? Do you have to collect everything? No. Oh, so you only got the twenty. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, because they are a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to collect. Yeah, no, you only got to get twenty Mongol okay. artifacts, and okay. I think you'll get twenty something else. So yeah, it's twenty for both of them. So yeah, that's fine. I was also looking up about the leveling up. Like you have to completely level up everything, but you don't. All you got to do is like. Um, unlock all the ghost weapons. Right, abilities, okay. Sorry, not the weapons, abilities. Yeah, yeah. weapons, I guess, is the same thing. Um, and then the only other thing that's tied to is that you've got to completely upgrade your sword. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So other I've, than that, you can kind of do what you want. So, yeah. yeah. I've upgraded, fully upgraded, I think it's called a Tanto, the little the little dagger. I've upgraded that fully. Um, I've done the, the um, your katana a couple of times. But uh, yeah, no. If it's uh, if it's a possible platinum, yeah, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll uh, jump on board and yeah, you give it have a time go. commitment because, like I said, you got to clear out all the um, yeah, yeah, and you got to find all the like um, I was going to call them hot tops, but they're not hot tops, are they? Hot, hot, springs. hot springs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, although, have you done a hot spring yet? I have done a few actually. Yeah, those little golden birds keep leading me to them, so that's good. Yeah, I was like. When he gets out of the hot spring, I was thinking, oh, gin. Like, I, thought, I thought we were going to see a bit of like samurai, <laughs> samurai yeah, sword yeah. action there. Yeah. But it, it just cuts away just before yeah. it. I don't yeah. know. If anybody's played the game, they probably know what I'm talking <laughs> about. But he stands up, you see a bit of like arse action, and he turns around. And then, um, yeah. It's like the, Ger- you know, yeah, um, like the Geralt bath scene, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, exactly. You know, they, yeah, they, yeah, love, they love before, putting it yeah. in. Yeah. But, uh, oh, wow, yeah, no, I'm it's. Impressed. Um, I think yeah, I think we're both really enjoying it. It's just a it's a it's a fun game to play. Um, yep, I think this, um, I've bought uh, recently. I've bought because um, there seems to be a PlayStation sale on every month now. One ends <laughs> and another begins. So I've got um, Days Gone installed, ready to go. So I'll probably play that after Ghost. Uh, then I also bought um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So I've got that to play. Uh, yep. Far Cry Five, no, which I haven't got. Play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Far Cry Five, which I haven't got, is on sale on the PSN now, so I'm going to get that. And I cool, never, that's commitment. I never played Doom like the, the one they Jesus bought in 2016. Christ. Yeah, but it's it's four pounds seventy nine. So I was thinking, I'm just going to 
It's going to okay, get it. Fine. Yeah. If you if you want it yeah. in your library. It's uh, it was actually I'm just adding it to my library at the minute. All but, your games are probably on Game Pass that you've already got. Um, Doom is actually yeah, Doom is on Game Pass. Uh, Assassin's Creed isn't. Far Cry isn't. Um, yeah, I should really play on Game Pass more. I pay for it every month, so you know. But, mm-hmm. And talk about any game, Ubisoft games and Game Pass? I don't think there is actually. No, I, not now. I'm thinking mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed definitely ain't because I and Far Cry because I would have played them because I you know um, I played they've got the wolf all the wolfensteins on there um but yeah no i don't know okay. it's not like i can remember i haven't as i say i haven't been on it in a while they might have put on last time i okay. looked there wasn't yeah um yeah. But, yeah talking about that sale i was thinking about buying or rebuying because uh, when their game come out originally um i had it on physical and i don't have it anymore but i was going to rebuy horizon oh okay yeah yeah because that's the only i love i beat it it's the only one that i feel ashamed that i ain't got the platinum for uh, yeah, I, my first party PlayStation games that like, I really like, like in my well, top five. And Days Gone, you haven't got, you haven't done Days Gone either. I've never ever. played, yeah. I've never played Days Gone, so oh, I can't. It's not a dirty, it's not my dirty list. Yeah, but like when we did our top like favorite first party, and obviously, um, got a War Spider Man, got a plats for that. Obviously, I'm planning to get the plat for Ghost, and I kind of wanted Horizon to be, you know, in yeah, there as well. Yeah. So. My um, four favorite games on the platform. I kind of wanted to platform with them. So, yeah. I think... It's only £10 at the moment, so I thought for £10. Oh, exactly. And yeah, you get the DLC, which I was going to say, played. yeah. You get the DLC, so, the Frozen yeah. Wastes in it. Yeah, so that's definitely worth it. Um, definitely worth it uh, for a tenner. You can't really go wrong, can you? Yeah. So, Refresh um, you for before the new one comes out next year as well. Exactly, yeah. I don't know if... Uh, I'm pretty sure this PSN sells everywhere, isn't it? I, I'm... Like not just not just the UK. I'm pretty sure it's in yeah, it might other be global, countries as well. Yeah, yeah. global. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pricing will vary depending on the country. I would think. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I yeah, but it would do. Yeah, but yeah, um, change yeah it, it's going to be. Um, I'm going to pick those games up, uh, and then like, I've got a little back. Like I say, I've got a little backlog to play after Ghost. So, um, yeah, should be should be good. I probably will go into Days Gone straight away after because I ain't going to want to go into like an Assassin's Creed game after playing Ghost because they're they're quite similar. Um, like I didn't go into Days Gone after Last of Us again because both zombies. So uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, I, I want to play the same thing twice. Exactly. Yeah. And talking about backlog as well, I don't know if we want to move on to the uh, the Xbox Xbox uh, event that we both watched. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you watched. Did you watch it live? Uh, kind of. It, well, we started at five and I finished work at half five. So um, I was trying to, at the same time, obviously work. Of course, I'm working. But um, I was trying to keep an eye on what was kind of going on. And then I kind of, as soon as I finished work, I kind of picked it up from there, from the beginning. And um, but. Yeah, I was. I did watch it live. Yeah, yeah. I would admit now, I completely forgot. I finished work at five, uh, and I just, I think, I just ended up making dinner. So I completely forgot it was happening. Uh, I text you saying I forgot, and um, I watched it later, a little bit later on. Um, and not that like it matters if we watch it live or not, because obviously we're still getting the same information. Yeah, um, of course, yeah. I don't know why I'm always like, oh, I've got to watch this thing live. Like, yeah, exactly, yeah. It's on once. It's like live TV, and then you're never going to see yeah, it again. Yeah, we're going to see it again. It's um, literally, I don't know, it's on YouTube, do you know what I mean? On yeah. About, I don't know, 50 different outlets have got their <laughs> Exactly, yeah. It, Everyone's you know doing I mean? their, own, like, yeah, yeah. their own take on it. Um, what did you think of it um, as a non-Xbox player? Um, who's never had an Xbox? What did you think of the, the, the you know the games? Did, was it always? Uh, did you think it was a good event? Do you think they, uh, uh, you know, uh, a success or not so great? Wanted more. Um, it's a complicated question, and I've got I don't know, and trying to not give a complicated answer. Um, I thought it was a little bit underwhelming. Mm-hmm. Completely honest with you, with the game shown. Um, however, I think expectations of the console needs to change. However, I think Microsoft are at fault for this because their marketing team and feel or whatever, they're going around saying that the Xbox Series X is the most powerful console ever. It's more powerful than the PS5. It's this and that. So then you're setting expectations to have the most powerful and the best games. 
are the best yeah. looking game. Yeah, yeah. Because you're going around saying you've got the most powerful one. What's the point of having the most powerful machine if your games are no better than Xbox One games? So yeah. I don't see the point of that. And if that's what you want to go with, then that's fine. But don't go around telling people that you've got the most powerful thing when you're not going to use it. Do you know what I mean? I think they what they, what they keep saying at the event, enhance. So... Um, playable, you know, like like Halo Infinite. I've got a little bit on Halo Infinite here. You can play it on Xbox One, um, but it's enhanced on Xbox Series X. So that's what they kept pushing. And at first, I mean, I know you said it when we was talking at the weekend about the graphics didn't look too good. And then I was like, oh, don't, you know, they, they they seemed alright. And then after rewatching it, um, the bit that made me think that the graphics were a bit a bit, you know shit shitty and yeah, a bit shitty looking was right at the end when like the, um, the brute's talking to you and okay. just like the facial animations on the brute and like the textures it did look quite bad it looked um it looks you know it looks a bit a bit a bit rough and since then there's on youtube you've got all these comparisons someone's comparing it from halo reach that came out in 2010 um <laughs> I know oh. someone. Someone did say it was built on um, that that gameplay demo. It was built on an old, um, uh, 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 an old uh, model. Um, I can't really think of the word. What they said. Sorry. Um, but it, yeah, on an older engine and, and, and like an, an, on a dev kit. So that's why. And it, you know, it will look better when it comes out. But I get what you mean. Um, if it's, this is their presentation shown yeah. to the world they're going to make it look as good as possible yeah. there's no way they're giving you some old dev back office version yeah, yeah. of the world premiere no no chance other than other than that though i was um excited i i love i, I said before i love halo um my xbox gamer tag is is from halo so um my xbox gamer tag is ma5c brad um, and MA5C is the assault rifle from Halo 3. Okay. So, as you know, I'm a fan, and I did get excited when I saw when I saw the um, the gameplay. It is very reminiscent of Halo 1, um, crashing yeah. on uh, crashing onto a Halo ring, uh, and then reaching. It. And like I said last week um, about you know maybe being a little bit semi open world, it does look like that. Um, so you've got your objectives, and you can you can tackle them. Um, what one you want to do first, and uh, you know, go about it you know, a few different ways by the looks of it. So I'm really excited to play it, um, and it's even better that it's out day of release on on Game Pass, so I can just you know download it, play it. Um, I imagine it'd be a pretty big download. Cause apparently, it's twice the size of Halo Five. Um, Okay. It does. It does look. It does. Yeah. It just looks. You know. I'm excited for. It How do you feel about it being story. like his ten year project with it? Like, where they're going to keep adding updates? I don't think it's obviously going to be Destiny. Although, to be honest with you, watching it and being a Destiny player and Destiny fan, it kind of screamed Destiny to me. And I know, obviously, it's very much linked because Bungie. Etc. Yeah, yeah. I know that, but just everything about it, even like the voice acting, the gameplay, everything about it was like, well, this is kind of Destiny. And then you're saying that you're going to have this 10-year project. Wasn't that the idea of Destiny originally? Yeah, yeah. 10-year project where we give you updates. And I know it's not going to be some kind of live service being like Destiny. Of course, I'm not going to compete with that. But it's very interesting that... Yeah, building on this one instead of... This is the halo for the next 10 years. yeah. I, I don't know. I just, well, very strange decision in my opinion. I, I dare say they'll, yeah, they'll bring out all the different um, add ons for the multiplayer, which I used to really enjoy. Um, and I even, you know, enjoyed the multiplayer on Halo 4. Uh, that was the last one I played. Um, and I think that, I feel, kind of think the multiplayer is more inclusive. I think it's, uh, it's easier to jump in. So um, my my girlfriend who don't play, she doesn't play games really. She used to just be able to jump in and play Halo Four online, and she really enjoyed it. So, um, obviously, it didn't show none of that at the event, any of the, any of the online element to it. But obviously, it's going to be there. Mm. Uh, it has got. They have confirmed it's got split screen multiplayer, and uh, um, so that's good because obviously that's where Halo started back in the day. Yeah, like I said, that's the only time I played it from. There. Yeah, um, it just looks really good. Yeah, it looks like you got a few more, a few new abilities. Um, I think the enemies, so the banished, because I'm I'm out of the loop a little bit. I didn't play Halo Wars two, or Halo five. Uh, the banished, the, the enemies in this are from Halo Wars. Okay. So I will be going back, and I probably will play Halo five before this one comes out. And um, I doubt I'll play Halo Wars to be honest. Um, I played the first one; that was alright actually. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Um, 
really I, when Halo Five came out, I wasn't after Halo Four. I was kind of like, um, I don't know, I'm, and that's why I never got around to playing it. But this one, yeah, definitely piqued my interest. Definitely, we'll jump in on this one. Uh, yeah, really excited to play it. And when it when I obviously it comes out, I'll be I'll review that one because you don't have an Xbox, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I, no, I won't be getting one after this conference either. Yeah, um, yeah. Going back to the actual conference itself and the direction it's going in, it's kind of interesting because I don't know if it's just I'm biased, and I'm probably am biased. I'm going to fully admit, yeah, you're I biased. Am bitch, am, yeah, yeah. I'm biased towards PlayStation and Sony, and it's definitely my side. And is I don't know. Xbox would have to do something big for me to switch at this stage, like something massive. Um, which I don't think is actually possible, but and that's but the direction they're going in with the game pass and everything like that, which is absolutely mental value. Like the fact that you can have every single game and all their first yeah. parties on this thing is such a great deal, and I'm not underestimating that at all. It's incredible, and I guess maybe that's what people value more than anything. And mm-hmm. they are going to get a lot of people that switch because of that. Yeah, but for me, it's, when you yeah. have a new generation. I like the excitement of like, I don't know, like what you got with the PlayStation conference, games that you never saw on the previous gen on PS4 and would leap into the next level. Yeah. And there was yeah, not one mean, thing yeah. there that said, well, we're leaping to the next level or you need to buy a Series X. If I was an Xbox player, I would probably stick with the, well, if I had an, was it Xbox One X? Yeah. Which is the beefed up version. Yeah. You'd stick with that. Would you would you need the upgrade? I don't I don't know if mm. you would. It's almost like oh, with an iPhone, you get like the S, which is the in between one before yeah, the next yeah. number. I don't know. It almost feels I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's kind they're of like fun. they're now they're no longer a platform. They're an ecosystem. Yeah, of like a service, and they don't care where you're playing it. You can play on Xbox One, Series X, Xbox One X. PC. On your phone, through the cloud, yeah. or your PC, whatever it is, I don't care. It's kind of just well, Halo. Um, yeah, Halo Infinite's coming out on Steam as well, so it's going to be available on Steam. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, I, I, it's, it's definitely uh, like you say, the old, the old-fashioned console war, like Xbox 360 and PS3 and PS4 and Xbox One, it's gone now because Xbox have kind of taken themselves out and they've gone in a completely different direction. Yeah, uh, and in some ways, it's good. You know, like mm. people who would be like, if they're being, oh, do I get the new Xbox or a new PS5? Or actually, if I get the new Xbox, you've got access to this massive layout library. Um, all the, all the, you know, exclusives are on Game Pass. It's great, like you say, it's great value for money. Uh, so yeah, they've just completely. You can't really compare them anymore, um, and you never know. Is this the way Sony will go after the PlayStation Five? Mm. But. Yeah, it's. Um, well, I'm interested in your opinion because obviously you switched, so your alliances with PlayStation are not as strong as me. Hmm. However, given the, I know you obviously got an Xbox as well, and you got Game Pass, and you're saying you don't ever use it. Yeah. But if you had a choice for the next gen, it was like you can have one console, you cannot buy the other. What one are you going with? I'd go for PlayStation Five. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Why, <laughs> yeah. why is that? It's just I, I just think it's got the better exclusives on there. Um, okay. those games on the Xbox that I love, like Halo, and really enjoy the Gears of War, and um, you know, the new Fable that got teased. I want to play that, but yeah, I just think back in the 360 days, Xbox was king. Um, you had Bioshock uh on there um, before. Uh, before it comes to PlayStation, Mass Effect One was on the Xbox bef- a little while before it comes to PlayStation. You had all these games, great games, and it was just yeah, it was the king. Uh, the online was better, the whole online service, um, but they kind of dropped still the is, ball. To be fair, isn't it? Xbox Live yeah, is probably still better than PS. Probably. To be fair, the only the only thing uh, like the Xbox, the, the UI is dreadful. I turn my Xbox One because I'm not on it all the time. I look, I go in. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where stuff says that it's downloading. Or it might just be me, but it's a it's a it's a fucking mess. Like uh, the 360 UI used to be, you know, brilliant. Um, like first off with the blades, and then they changed it to you know, little avatars. But they, the the Xbox got one UI. It's just yeah, it's a it's a mess. I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I I'd, I'd still go PlayStation. I like all their their first party games. Um, but I'm, I'm excited, excited for that, though. The, like the new UI on the PS5. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, oh, what are you going to change it to? Like, 
I thought we was going to get a little teaser now in the PlayStation and then yeah, they, they no, when they showed it. the little PlayStation logo on the yeah. button, I was like, you're not going to yeah. show us the UI. That might have been like my, one of my favorite moments in the conference yeah. if they did do that because I do like a good UI. But, I hope um, they do reveal it before the launch. They sure they are. Yeah, they, they must, get another they must be doing another little event, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, what can I say? Xbox, um, I do like it and I'm glad I've got Game Pass um, to play all these games. Um, they did announce, so, you know, so that's Halo, that's my... That's my thoughts on Halo. Apparently, it's got like a rumored release date of November because that's when we think the the console is going to come out. Um, it's going to be playable on it's Xbox One, Series X, um, PC, including Steam. Uh, it's on Game Pass, so you're going to be able to you know play it if you've got an Xbox One. And uh, interestingly, apparently, um, you're saying about the Xbox Xbox One X, they've, they've stopped producing them now. So the only ones they're making now is the new Series oh, X. Really? And, That's yeah, interesting. And the One S, which I've got, the, you know, the Xbox ah, One okay. S. That's interesting. So yeah, the mm. X, the X. Um, yeah, they've stopped. They've stopped producing it. So because they know, why would you bother? Upgrading? Bother? Yeah, you've got it. Yeah, it, if, the upgrade is not. I don't know. Maybe yeah. the third party games will make the use of it. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. It's a bit like. You can have the best of both worlds. You can have the third party and the first party if you go PlayStation. So, yeah, yeah it's very, I don't want to say strange. Obviously, they're going in this direction, which you think is obviously is a good one. Don't get me wrong. It's diverse. It's ended the console wars because it's not this competition anymore, I don't think. But it might be competitive because, like you said, all the people that are not so bothered about the exclusive or just play you know the third parties and they see this great value for money in terms of the game pass then why not yeah, give it a go be, yeah you know so, them, yeah. yeah you might get a lot of people that switch i uh, think the biggest one i'm sure we'll go on to it as a destiny player and when i saw destiny's coming to game pass <laughs> yeah including the new dlc the new expansion yeah i'm getting into it mate this is like, it now i'm in i'm in I was like, wow, <laughs> okay, that is big. Mm. If they don't get cross-play, a lot of Destiny players are going to jump because yeah. I know a lot of like people that I play Destiny with, that's like there's one game they play. Yeah. They don't play yeah. any other game. They might play, like I don't know, like a third party, like a FIFA or something like that. But they don't play any like Last of Us or Ghost. Like they're not, they're just, mm-hmm. they play Destiny full-time. That's their game. So if they can just get that on like a, subscription-based Game Pass, never buy an expansion or anything ever again, plus get this full library of basically free games. Yeah, yeah. Wow. They do it, yeah, yeah. That, it, it, it's quite big. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that was uh, that was pretty big. Uh, as I say, someone who doesn't play Destiny, um, I didn't really um, have much thoughts on it. But yeah, like yourself, a big fan... Yeah, I can see you know your reaction. It, it it speaks volumes. So, yeah, that's a potential potential jumping off point for some people. Yeah, um, especially if well, maybe even more so. Well, hopefully they do introduce it because I don't want everybody losing from PlayStation because PlayStation Player Pace is quite good. Because yeah. when Destiny Two first came out, we had like exclusive content. We had like a yeah. strike that was exclusive. We had some like guns and um and a couple of other things that were exclusive on the PlayStation for quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and then um, when Bungie and Activision split, all that exclusive content got like put on everywhere. Yeah. And Bungie said, we'll never do that again. That was like basically Activision's yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. thing. And now obviously they've gone on to the Game Pass. Yeah, game Pass. Um, yeah. And if it, if it becomes free, I think it's just Xbox at the moment, but they're apparently in talks. This is what Microsoft is saying on Twitter, that they're in talks to get on Game Pass for PC. Oh uh, yeah, so Game Pass it could Ultimate. potentially be on free, basically with Game Pass on PC and Xbox, and the only place you have to pay pay for it is that is PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's big, like, like you wow, say. Wow, okay, this is these are moves. Yeah. These yeah. are fighting moves. They're people. flexing. They're flexing. They are flexing. That yeah, is no, flexing moves uh, right there. Um, are they talking about flexing moves? I was kind of hoping that Sony would be dicks. And if they could drop, if they release like the release date and the price of the PS5, like an hour before the conference, yeah, yeah, that would have been the ultimate like, yeah, bang move because that would have killed it. 
but, especially with how good how underwhelming the conference was if they released like the release there, even if just afterwards like it ended and then an hour later yeah, here's the PlayStation drop, yeah. release day here's the price here's pre-orders yeah that would have killed the Xbox win. it's like wow talking about like release Same dates and, and prices it's it's August like next week and we've still not got a date or anything when either of them are coming out which is yep. you know yeah are you surprised into... I didn't, wasn't at this conference? Um, no, not really, because PlayStation didn't do it. So I think they're just both waiting, isn't they? They're waiting to see if the other one, what, when the other one goes. They're, they're, yeah. they're playing chicken. Go first. Yeah, they're, they're playing chicken with each other. So, um, Who do you reckon can go first? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It, I know. It's a 50-50 guess, so PlayStation. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, I think I PlayStation know. will go first. Yeah. But, um, we've got a few other games they showed. Um, one of them, for me, right at the end was, um, I said last week I'd like to have a new Fable game, and that got a teaser. Um, the last... Why did just a teaser? Uh, yeah, a little bit. No, yeah, no, no, nothing. It's nice to know it's being made, but um, the last time... Maybe you know, you'll last... be in 2025. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It's, uh, the... Well, probably, actually, yeah. The last game that came out was obviously in 2010, Fable 3. Um, Fable Legends got scrapped um, when Lionhead got closed down in 2016 so this one's made by uh playground games um okay. who made who made forza horizon so okay interesting yeah um it's good yeah like i say a little bit disappointing that there's any teaser i did you know like they left it right to the end because they knew people that's what so you know all these rumors going around that they was making a new one and then renewing their uh, their license and that was true they are making a new one so uh yeah, it's yeah, so early doors though. Not even yeah. have anything. Well, exactly. To show. It's like it's like Skyrim. Nothing it's like Elder show. Scrolls Six. You know. I know. It's like it's, it's yeah, supposed Starfield. to be a launch event to get people excited by the console this yeah. year. And you're talking about things that okay, maybe you're trying to bank like this is coming eventually. Yeah. But it's like, oh, really? Well, another one like that as well. Um, the other, this, uh, another one that looked interesting for me was Avowed. Again. Um, Obsidian, you know, they've got some good pedigree. Um, for, uh, Outer Worlds was good. Um, uh, Fallout New Vegas, absolutely loved. So they made this fantasy RPG. Um, but again, nothing. Yeah, no gameplay. No, just, you know, just a cinematic trailer. No gameplay. No nothing. So that is so far away as well. Yeah, exactly. Know. It's just uh, finished what? Outer Worlds? And obviously they did that grounded, like you said. Yeah, doing ground. And they've got the, um, they on the event, they announced the DLC for Outer Worlds. Um, exactly. Yeah. The Gorgon. That, that's so far out again. It's, it's, yeah. It's, mm. well, I can't remember what it what, was. It called? Oh, yeah. The Outer Worlds. Um, yeah. Pearl on Gorgon. So they're kind of like, yeah, they seem to, they might be you know, stretching themselves a bit thin. But yeah. yeah Although they're, that's such a good acquisition for Xbox or Microsoft. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they brought back such in such a good studio, really good studio. And when did they when did they acquire them? Um, two thousand eighteen. So, yeah, yeah. good studio, yeah, it was good, a bigger good thing. Yeah, good thing from Microsoft. But so the three games I was most excited for, two of them you don't even have any. They you know, get a trailer, they get nothing from you know, nothing from um, like no mm. gameplay. Sorry, um, ha- ha- Halo. I'm excited for Fable and Avowed. We don't know. Stacey of Decay. Um, Stacey you... Decay never played any. Um, again, that wasn't no gameplay. That was just a no, cinematic trailer. Once again, so, another trailer. Yeah, yeah it's um, that's on uh, Game Pass, but never played it. Um, so yeah, let's just run through the list of what we got here. We got Hellblade Two: Senua's Saga. Never played that. Once um, again, there was no gameplay for that. No, wasn't there? no gameplay for that one. Um, Forza Motorsport. No gameplay. Wasn't they, before you talk, just talk about Hellblade for one sec. Well, they talking about like you can see that like, their dev videos of them going to Iceland and building the engine, and I, I, I don't know. I was like, wow, this sounds like it's really early in development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Like, yeah. You're talking about like, and apparently they're putting on Unreal Engine Five, which doesn't yeah, actually get released until 5, yeah. what March next year. Yeah, so it's going to be at what? least what? Yeah, so these could be some of the like, if you're if you're if you're being really optimistic, you're looking at. You know, um, next year, next Christmas, you know, like that, that around that time. But yeah, the Fable, at the earliest, about, think, you know, they ain't going to be out by then, no way. So you've got Senua's Saga, like you say, no no gameplay. Forza Motorsport, there's no gameplay. Um, it's What's still going to... How far out is that? Exactly. Have they got it's... any game for 2021? 
Um, <laughs> it seems like you've got Halo, and yeah. then you've got to wait four years for the next one. Yeah, um, you've got Crossfire X, um, the campaign premiered during the event. Um, mm. And it's got a, that's got a free to play multiplayer multiplayer in it. Um, okay. Doesn't say when that's going to be coming out though. It doesn't say if it's re- not what I'm reading. Anyway. I'm reading a Gamespot um, article. Uh, Warhammer Forty Thousand Dark Tide. When I saw the trailer for that again, just no gameplay. But I thought, oh, this looks good. And when it came out, Warhammer, I was thinking, do you have to know all the history of Warhammer to be able to play it? So. Maybe I, I, yeah. I don't. I'm yeah. not sure about that one. Um, Fantasy Star Online Two has got a release date. Is it just says 2021? Never played any of them, so yep. Um, I don't know about that. Medium, um, no release date for that. That didn't look very. I don't know. It just looked a bit. What was that game that launched on the PS4? Outcast, Outlast. It looked kind of like that. Okay. My, yeah. yeah. I thought. Um, so that um, you got the gunk uh, was announced. That uh, that did have gameplay. That looked like a little platformer. And he was going okay. around yeah, like uh, a world this game, if I'm sucking up like um, all the black gunk in a. In, like, you had a big glove. <laughs> like, uh, okay. like a, yeah, like a platformer game. I don't, so yeah, I, I, I don't. Um, yeah, I don't had, remember this game. To be honest, it had no 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 release date. Not no release date on what I'm reading either. Tetris, you know, come on, guys, it's 2020. Tetris, you know. Whatever. Yeah, Tetris Effect. Yeah, Tetris Although I think Effect. People, I think mean, people like the first one. I know this is called Connected, which, what, does it mean it's now online? Uh, or multiplayer, in it? Multiplayer, but, yeah. Yeah. Is it not like a Battle Royale, but Tetris? I think it might be. Yeah, that's what it looked like. You know, go, yeah, go that's what the, it is, because you got it on the Switch. Event, yeah. It was quite popular on the Switch. You can buy it on the Switch. It's like Battle Royale, but... Um, Tetris. Um, but with Twitch. Tetris, which yeah. made me then think of like, there surely must be like a real opportunity for like an app where you can add the Battle, Battle Royale formula, but to like other things. Yeah. Like wherever it is, you start with a hundred people and obviously, I don't know, yeah. supermarket shopping or something, you know, you, gotta, <laughs> you start with a yeah. hundred people. I don't know what happens to the hundred people. I don't know if they die, they get kicked out of the shop. Yeah. It's like the Hunger Games, but in, in like a supermarket, you know. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, no. It's, this could uh, be a TV show. This could be a spin-off from Part Time Players. Yeah, um, we could start our own TV show. We'll we'll pitch it. We'll, right, you know we'll, how it goes. we'll go to Netflix and we'll do that. Yeah. Man. Um, Stalker Two. Um, no gameplay, no release date. That did look good. Quite like the look at that. Obviously, I've never played Stalker One because I think it was only out on PC back in the day. Um, you okay. know, set in Chernobyl. You know, irradiated creatures and, and, and like monsters and that. That looked quite good. So okay, yeah, that'd be good. Interesting. It eventually come out when it eventually comes out. Um, yeah. One that did look really, I thought, I like looked really shit, and I was like kind of laughable. Um, As dust falls, it's kind of like a, a that one where it had like the stop motion animation, not the stop motion, but it was like real people. Like uh, it's a story driven adventure game. It's it's like. People, uh, we was going on holiday. Oh no, we're gonna go rub this fucking shop, and and it was like people <laughs> doing like really bad acting, and it just looked okay. really shit. So mm. I won't be playing that. Um, okay, yeah, I don't. Yeah, is that the it, one that looked a bit like um, what's them short games where you have like episodes? Telltale game. A bit like Telltale, but oh, what's the one? Oh, like Life is Strange. As a girl? Like, life is Strange. Life is Strange. Yeah. Is that the game where it was like Life is Strange? Uh, or is that a different yeah, one? Yeah, kind of. It's, 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 I can't really explain it to you. It's like, it, it was real like people cool, yeah. acting and it was like, but it was like the art style was like a, like a painting and it just looked terrible. And it's apparently, you know, I just think it looks shit. It, it's set over 30 years. Um, and as I say, it's a story driven adventure, but, I, for me, that is one I wouldn't be, wouldn't be playing. Um, not interested in that. Um, Psychonauts two, 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 Psychonauts two, um, popular game back uh, back in the day. Never played the first one. Um, it looked really psychedelic, didn't it? it kind of like you was in a Beatles video uh, on the when I was doing it on the yeah, uh, yeah Jack event. Black wasn't he? Jack he Black was, um... singing, yeah. Um, so that looks yeah, uh, it kind of looks like an acid trip, doesn't it? Yeah, it's exactly. Like yeah, you're on some kind Psychedelic, of drugs. Yeah, yeah, like um, whoever I've, for the druggies out there, I'm sure whoever's doing that. Uh, but that looked quite good. Um, like I said, I never played the first one, so I can't really 
say whether uh, it, 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 I don't know how similar it is to the first one because I've, I've never played it. Um, but that one, they, that they, they had the well, we we touched on it earlier on a little bit. Grounded by Obsidian, the one where yep. you little you know kids like Honey, I Shot the Kids basically and fighting ants and that. That looks quite good. I don't know if that's an online. I think it might be an yeah. online co-op game. Yeah. Um, tell me, then, tell me why is the game I was thinking of. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, story of the sibling. Oh, yeah, that one as well. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, the boy and the girl. Yeah, I, I won't lie to you. I kind of fast forward through that one because it looked pretty boring. Yeah, that was um, the one that I thought was seems like a yeah. copy of. Um, I'll try and find. Um, Life is I'll, strange. I'll, if you Google um, as dust falls, you'll you'll know what I mean. It just looks a bit weird. Um, okay. Obsidian again, like we touched on earlier on as well, a little bit. So they got grounded, and they've also got the Outer Worlds DLC, um, the uh, Peril on Gorgon, which looks uh, looks a bit more of the same, really, from what Outer Worlds okay. was. Yeah, um, I know what you mean with this game. Yeah, I the kind of vaguely remember it. Clearly shows how good it was because I recognise the images, but I don't have any idea. I know what you mean about this middle section of the conference. It seems like there was a lot of very similar games and it all yeah. kind of like merged into one. I couldn't tell you the difference between all of any of them. Like you said, that dust, um, as dust falls and tell me what, I don't know. I feel like they were all in the middle of the conference and I felt like it was like the same game. And I was, yeah, like you said, I kind of stopped paying attention because I couldn't tell you about any of them, any of their yeah. names. What they, I just, I just thought, oh, okay. And it's a kind of just, I don't know. Yeah, they was just all a bit samey. Um, yeah. But yeah, as dust falls, it actually yeah, it made me laugh because it, it just looked, mm. to me, but it just looked it I looked kind of guess it's so. all right because they're Game Pass games. So if you've got yeah. the Game Pass, you want to oh, give yeah, it a go. Got, yeah, exactly. You they, give it got, a go. Like you could give it a go. Yeah. It doesn't cost you anything. I oh, guess that's when the joy it, of Game Pass. When as dust falls comes out, I'll give it a go. And if, I, if I'm wrong, I'll come <laughs> back and I'll admit it. And I'll be like, listen, guys, I'm sorry. I was completely wrong. Um, it's a brilliant game. But, game of the year yeah game of the year as dust falls with their bad acting um <laughs> and then like uh, yeah uh tell me why you've said that one um about mm. the, the brother and sister twin trying yep. looks like they're trying to like solve a murder or something that happens to one of those kids um okay. let's hope it don't involve one uncle and uh <laughs> ever wild rare rare's rare's new game um okay so yeah again it 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 look it kind of looked like a rare game, you know. Like obviously, they it's a, the first game they bought out for a while. I can't remember the last time they bought out a game um, rare. When did they bring out? What was the last game they bought out? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I'm Gears googling. Tactics? No, were they? No, they weren't. No, year. that weren't rare. No, okay. No, I'm trying to think whatever world looked like because I completely forgot. It. Oh, that's right. I had like the. Kind of like fantasy. It had like um, look kind of like I like all the, those like the animals and in the forest. Yeah, it looks like you're like a forest being and you got to look mm. after all the animals. So yeah, that looks. Oh, Sea of Thieves was the last um, rare game. Uh, yeah, ah, so, okay, and I yeah, think that course, yeah. I think that's it to be honest. Um, that's still ongoing, isn't it? With Sea of Thieves, yeah, yeah. Never played it though. It's apparently supposed to be quite good. Um, I'm just looking for my list here. Uh, I think there's a few listed here that wasn't at the, wasn't on the uh, event. So, um, Hello Neighbor Two and Watch Dogs Legion. Obviously, they're not. They weren't there. So, uh, yeah, that's but that's all I've got really for game wise. There's a few there that I'm really looking forward to. The ones I'm looking forward to the most, I, unfortunately, I haven't got any gameplay. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. Uh, kind of yeah, like, I was... a, a bit like yourself. Yeah, a little bit disappointed. Um, with it if i'm honest but um yeah i was disappointed just as a playstation fan i kind of was hoping for it to give some like big punches and i guess maybe they have with the press and stuff and maybe it'll make playstation maybe think maybe we need some kind of subscription service or something to counteract this maybe yeah yes plus or i don't know how they're going to do it but i don't know this was like if it wasn't already I'm definitely buying a PlayStation after seeing yeah, this. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I think yeah. maybe a lot of people that might have been a bit more on the fence than I was mm. seems to be the reaction afterwards is I'm definitely buying a PlayStation at launch. But it's like you say, it's a good, like you can't have a really good point earlier on. 
um, all these games are on Game Pass. So, yeah, you can always just jump in, give them a go. And like myself, I've been, you know, slating on that game, but it might be completely, you know, I might be surprised at that because it looks shit, but, you know, it might be good. So, yeah, I've then been yeah, on Game Pass. You can give it a go, definitely. yeah, there's no risks. Yeah, yeah exactly, you yeah. You'll probably be playing more variety of games, which is a definite joy of the Game Pass. But, exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, that's yeah it, I haven't first, really got much of a... But one last thing on it, with the release dates, which I think was absolutely criminal of them, is that you got okay, so you got Halo at launch, yeah, and you got a few others that they said launch exclusives, yeah, yeah, which I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I'll, I'll, what does that mean? Is that you can't platform? get it on another platform? But it's yeah. on Xbox One, so it's not a launch. Do you know what I mean it's? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, it's so I, I just didn't get what that meant. But so you got these some of these games coming out at the launch, then you seem to have nothing in 2021. Oh, there's some, some games they said was coming in 2021, but yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Nothing big. Yeah. Like we're saying, we've got Horizon coming in 2021. Yeah. And Ratchet and Clank coming in 2021 for PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. All like the games that they showed at PlayStation was either coming at launch or in 2021. Yeah. Because they, they could have teased some of their big hitters. We didn't see anything from Naughty Dog. We didn't see anything from Santa Monica. Sucker no. Punch, obviously, because no. Ghost didn't come out yet. So, you know, what have they teased God of War? But they didn't. They left that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They could have teased that. Yeah. Like what they did with Fable. We could have had a little God of War tease, which would have lost people's minds. But he didn't, but yeah. Really it's too far out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like yourself, like I said, a little bit disappointed, but... There's a few good games there, like, you know, a few, few good-looking games. So um, when they do finally come out, I'll be giving them giving them a go. Um, but I don't think I'll be rushing out to buy a Series X. That, that's, um, yeah. Yeah, you kind of lost the incentive, obviously, day one. I think PlayStation, you can always play Halo on the Xbox One. And then you yeah. kind of, I guess, you can wait until what comes out in 2021 or at the end of the year and think, okay, maybe I want to upgrade now. Exactly, yeah. Set a game to look a little bit prettier. Yeah. Even if it doesn't, like, if you, even if you can't afford it, you can still play it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, exactly, like, yeah. You're not losing out on anything. Like, if you don't buy a PS5, you cannot play the new Spider-Man, Mars Rallis. You cannot play Horizon. You cannot play Ratchet and Clank, whatever, or the new Gran Turismo, if you like Gran Turismo. So, and that's what makes me want to buy one. Like, exactly. you know, wanting to play these yeah. games, yeah. Like I don't need to go out and buy an Xbox Series X because I can play Halo on my Xbox I've got now. So, yeah, yeah. what the way they're doing it is strange. Um, and then you know, like I say, they've gone a completely different way to PlayStation. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see if it pays off or you know the whole subscription based way of gaming that they're going down. We'll see to see if it um if, yeah, if it pays off for them. But yeah, sure. for, for the consumer, it's a good thing, you know. Um, 100 yeah, yeah. the it's... value for money like if if you take everything out the window like you had one choice for one thing like you had like yeah. i don't know how much is it how much is game pass uh, 7.99 a month 7.99 yeah is that including xbox gold or whatever it's called like no i've it's... just i've just got the game pass where it's just the game so uh okay. it's the xbox gold um game pass uh, Ultimate is for PC and Gold as well. I think that's a little bit more, but I don't have the PC and um, mm. I don't really. So use I think gold, they so. might take away the other option, and I reckon that version will be the only version you have. And yeah. I'll put that into the like the live. Only. Yeah, well, apparently that you can't buy um, Xbox Live Gold twelve month subscription at the moment. So they're saying, is it going to be? You know, they're going to make it free to play, or they're going to like streamline some of the the subscription based services. Um, and uh, and put it in that so that's quite interesting yeah definitely yeah i think it'll just be the game pass you have to have game pass and if you don't have game pass you can't you can't do it yeah so they're gonna yeah, put it all in you one get under everything one. with game pass you get the streaming you get the live you get the games yeah. you get everything yeah um but yeah well, we're going into an hour 30 now. So I was going to say, this uh, is going to be, this is the longest podcast we've done so far. So, okay. yeah, well, we're, you know, uh, we're giving you value for money. Value for money, yeah. Like the Game Pass. We're the Game Pass of podcasts. Yeah. So, 
Um, well, we'll wrap up the uh, the Xbox event there, and then we go on to um, uh, this day in gaming, the new the new yeah, seg- kick you know, the new segment. So this day in gaming is uh, let me find it. Um, it's Doctor Mario was released this time thirty one years ago in Japan um, on okay. the NES. So. I was only two years old when this game came out. Wow. Um, so I've got a little bit of background on it. So Dr. Mario was I was in Japan. my dad's ball sack. Oh, there you go. So you, you definitely couldn't play it. Um, yep. Yeah, it was released in Japan on the NES 31 years ago in 1989 uh, on the 20th, when we were recording this, 27th of July. Um, and uh, Dr. Mario works in the Mushroom Kingdom Hospital with uh, Nurse Toadstool. Okay, so okay. that's that's where it works. Um, and they released an app, uh, an iPhone and Android app. So is app he not released. Mario? Well, I've got a little bit of that. So apparently it's he's it's separate. It's like a persona. So he, it's like he's a plumber. He's an international tennis star. He's paper. He's a doctor. You know, he, he's, he's, a, <laughs> he's, he's a bit a, of a fraud, isn't he? He's um, like, yeah, he's like catch me as you can. Not like yeah. the guy where he has yeah, a job. Like yeah. Fraud, yeah, exactly, yeah. I said I don't think um, a plumber should be giving out medical advice and um, distributing medication. Um, yeah. And in, actually, in an interview, does he have an MD? Yes, yeah, he has the he has the medical like, well, license and qualification. I don't think he does because um, no? okay. Uh, in an interview with um, Shigeru Miyamoto around the 30th anniversary of the game coming out, so last year, um, okay. he said uh, he he implied that he's actually not a licensed doctor. So he's wow. not he's, he's not licensed. He's 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 a, he's, a, he's a fraud. He's dangerous. He needs to be stopped. He, he is a menace. He, he needs to be stopped. He's a but, menace. Um, Mario is uh, a menace, and he needs he to be is, stopped. He is. He's he's giving out all this medication, and he's he don't know what damage he's doing. So, um, yeah, so Bowser they, they, was the good guy the whole time. Yeah, he's just trying to stop him. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, why he, yeah. that's he's self medicating. Um, he's self medicating Peach. That's why he keeps kidnapping her, trying to get him away from <laughs> Mario. So yeah, no, that's uh. That's what it was. Mm. I I personally never played it on a NES, but I did play it um, on the uh, I they bought an app out last year on Android and uh, iOS, so I played okay. it on that for a little bit. It's a good kind of one of these games that if you're just killing some time on your phone, um, you know, just to just to waste a little bit of time. So uh, yeah. yeah, it's like a bit like Tetris, but um, yeah, that was this that was uh, this week's this day in okay. gaming. Yeah, good interesting yeah. one this week. Yeah. yeah, I've never played it either. To be fair, um, I did hear about the iOS version, not the app, but um, yeah, I never downloaded it or tried it. Yeah, I just downloaded it, give what, it a go. What ruined it for me is, remember when, was it Mario Run? Something no, like when a normal Mario yeah, came out. Yeah, And it was like hidden behind like, yeah. The, paywalls. There was like a paywall. And I was just kind of like, oh. yeah, I don't really play games well, on my phone anyway. So I was just like, no, I'm just not even going to bother. This one was kind of like, a bit like Candy Crush. You had so many lives and then once you run out, you can buy more or you have to wait for more uh, to like, come. Yeah, okay. And then it, I played it for a few weeks and then afterwards I was kind of like, I'm done with this now but um yeah you know first come out in uh 31 years ago so yeah um so if we move on now to what we play in and what then we've also introduced this week what we watching yes so, yeah watched anything or well, obviously be, they've just been playing ghost i assume so you yeah, know i've been playing ghosts but um the only other thing i've been kind of watching recurrently at the moment is um an anime i do like my anime mm-hmm. um is my Hero Academia. I don't know okay, if you yeah. heard of it or watched it. Right? Uh, only because you told me about it. Um, not seen it myself, no. Okay, yeah. I would, yeah, like I said to you or to anybody out there, if you like superheroes, you should just give this a go. It is it's probably maybe, maybe my favourite superhero show of okay. anything I've ever watched, yeah. and I'm a massive like Batman fan. So, what's it called again? Sorry, My Hero, My Hero Academia. Academia. Yeah. Okay, is it on Netflix? No. Oh, what's it on? Oh, would you? Oh, you have to find some obscure platform to watch it on. You can watch it on like um, Crunchyroll or oh, Okay, yeah. Funimation or one of the actual animation. Yeah, anime ones. Yeah. To make sure it's like properly dubbed in English and stuff. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, no, it's so good. It's like crosses um, like the best things from like um, 
I don't know, like all the Marvel stuff, like all the best things you like about Marvel, it's kind of taken that. All the best things you like about DC, it's kind of taken that. Okay, I also yeah. watched like One Punch Man, it's taken like the best things from that. It's like taking little bits of like every single other like superhero thing and I just put it into one show. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it is, it is, it's really, really good. There's some of like the best superhero fights um, I've ever seen in anything. So yeah, highly recommend nearly at the end now i'm just at the end of season four um yeah you just jump in it's really good yeah, i might give it a go talking about superheroes um don't know if you watched the first series um the new series of umbrella academy is out on netflix on the 31st which i think is friday is it friday the 31st yeah yes Maybe. It is, yeah um, so yeah i'm made, gonna yeah. yeah i'm gonna watch that um I, I really like the first series um so uh yeah looking forward to that um, I well, couldn't get over the first series. I thought it was a bit weird. I thought it was really good. It had really good um, sound. The soundtrack to it was great. I really liked it. Mm. Um, mm. And all the different characters. I, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, so looking forward to that on on Friday. Uh, yeah. But other than that, I yeah. You're a fan of The Boys? Yeah, yeah. We spoke about it. Yeah, new series September. So I, can't, I cannot wait for that. that. I, I think like Comic Con a- was on over the weekend. Like Comic Con yeah. at home. And I, I saw, saw some little, like the trailers and stuff. Did you see the trailer? Yeah. With the, the I saw wow. the one, yeah, with with what, the wow, yeah, an act, yeah, the wow. Actor, I was just like, oh, yeah. I cannot wait for this show yeah. to come back. It's uh, is, uh, it's so good. It's, it's great. Such a um, good show. Yeah, really it's looking forward to that. Mm. Um, other than that, all I watched was I watched on Apple TV. I watched uh, Greyhound, the Tom Hanks film. I know it ain't nothing to do with gaming okay. or superheroes. Is back World yeah. War Two. What you watched? Was it good? Yeah, it was really good actually. Yeah, and consider, I think it was supposed to get a cinema release, and then they just kind of obviously couldn't do it because of the pandemic, and it just come straight onto Apple. So, okay. um, yeah, and I wouldn't usually have Apple TV. It's only because I got like a, a new iPad, and you get it free for a year. So, okay, uh, yeah. yeah, it's that was a really good film. Yeah, if you can watch it, I'd I'd recommend that. Yeah, really good. Um, good film. Yeah, I haven't um, subscribed to Apple TV. I've got, I've actually got an actual apple tv um, oh, okay like a little streaming box and it, it obviously as soon as you turn it on it always advertise what is like new on the apple tv subscription yeah and there's nothing i've ever seen that's like eh, that makes me want to subscribe although i watch wwdc which is their uh, developer conference because i'm a bit of an apple dog yeah. um and they did show like a new show that they are putting on i think it's coming out either next year or the year after which looks like this sci-fi flick and okay. it actually looks really good i can't remember what it's called but it is based on like novels and stuff um and it actually looked um actually it's for good. the first like show i watched seen that they're actually putting out it's like wow okay this could be like maybe their first big hit yeah potentially but i always think with apple with all your billions just buy netflix yeah yeah buy it it's so hard to make a hit show. You could do everything right. You get all the big actors, like you said, they've got like Tom Hanks in, do you know what I mean? They get all these big actors in like, I think they've got like, is it the Good Morning Show? And they've got yeah, like, yeah. like actual like big actors in there, like Steve Carell and, you know, um, Jennifer Anderson or whatever and things like that and Reese Witherspoons and, do you know what I mean? But it still doesn't guarantee you success. success yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, Especially on like a platform on like, Netflix. Like Apple TV, like I wouldn't have watched anything on there if I didn't got it free. So mm. yeah, it, I know I can get exactly what you mean. Yeah, it's uh, and if that that one you're just talking about there, if that comes out on Apple TV within a year, I'll be watching it. If not, I won't. So you know, yeah, yeah. Well, it depends if it's good. If it's really good, and I hear good things about it, I might yeah, subscribe yeah. for like a month. It's like what I, I said. It's my little tip. I subscribe to like a platform if there's something good out that month. Like for September, yeah, I'm gonna subscribe to Prime. Yeah, to watch I'm the, boys, watch the yeah. boys. Yeah. And I'm going to consume whatever I need and then I'm going to unsubscribe until yeah. there's something that I actually want. Another good thing about that is when you unsubscribe, I always choose the option. Of like when they say, oh, why are you leaving us? And I always put, I can't afford it. Yeah, yeah. And I always get this like retentions offer of like, come back for five pounds. I'm sometimes yeah. like, oh, I don't know, fair enough. Yeah. Like, I got it with Netflix. Like I said, I always cancel in and they must realize I'm always doing this. But That's yeah, they always do, give yeah. me a deal. Yeah. every time please come back for like five pounds okay fine my arm's paying double that but okay yeah yeah so yeah even if you get that it's it's kind of worth doing worth just for the the offer that you get yeah um yeah no yeah. definitely yeah no it's um 
I've, I, I, playing wise, all I'm going to be playing this week is um, Ghost again, Ghost of Shima. Yep. So, uh, gonna yeah. Get the plat for me. Yeah, you try and get the plat. I'll try and finish the first act. So you know, we're both doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're both yeah. getting there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'd say it's a long one this week. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, if you were, should we um, start the uh, our social media bits and say thanks yeah, for well, listening? Take you, away. You, You're the social media master. Yeah, if, if uh, you've Twitter, stuck with this, uh, if you've stuck with us this long, then thank you for listening. As I say, it's our longest episode yet, but you know we think we've had like a good discussion on all the uh, the Xbox event and our thoughts on Ghost of Tsushima. So, um, if you would like to. Leave any feedback. Um, you can always email us at uh, ptplayerspod at gmail gmail dot com. Sorry. Um, follow us on Twitter at ptplayerspod, and like us on Facebook, Part Time Players Podcast. That would be fantastic if you did that. Um, any questions, feedback? Um, just want to get in touch. Um, no any feedback. S- we reject feedback. Oh, okay. Sorry. Apparently, no feedback. No. Don't listen to. Don't listen to him. He's an idiot. Yeah. Any uh, any feedback would be great to. Um, uh, you know, hear from our listeners. Um, we noticed that we had a download in Canada, so our international base is uh, <laughs> is growing. Uh, and, no, and we say we, you, you oh, spend check, all yeah. day just like looking. Oh, look, we got yeah, another. I, check. I get like a text. We got a Dutch person. I'm a stat. I'm the stat man. Okay, yes, we've got a, yeah, we've got you, a listener you're, from. You're on this all the time. I yeah, like, yeah, from the Netherlands. So yeah, it's great. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, shout out to all our listeners. Um, we we can't see. We, I'd like to see where people are listening to in the UK, but it just doesn't. It just groups in like the UK as one. So, but yeah, um, it's such a small country. It's yeah, exactly. Of, yeah. yeah. Any um yeah, if you know, uh, follow us on social media. Um, if you're listening on YouTube, um, be good if you liked and subscribed and ring the bell. Uh, and and yeah, it's um just get in touch. Uh, if you've got any any thoughts or you know just wanna just wanna say hello, be nice to hear from you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. We're on all the platforms now. For, okay, yeah, I was going to say yeah, yeah for podcasts and stuff. So we're on yep. Google and yeah, that's it. I've got a list actually. Yeah, we're Stitch, on uh, Stitcher, Twitcher, yep. whatever it's called. We've got YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, Podbeam, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. So yeah, if yeah. Any suggestions across... out there for more platforms? Then I can yeah. upload them. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. Any any feedback like that? Oh, you know, if this is like let's say this is our longest episode. If you think it's you like long episodes or or what not yeah any 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 sort of uh feedback would be great so uh yeah thanks for listening guys to another to another yep. week's podcast you can send us any feedback but we're not obviously going to listen to any of it if it's dribble <laughs> i i know, relevant feedback <laughs> yeah reese isn't in charge I, if there is any feedback i'll i'll, I'll okay read yeah, it right, well, yeah I'm, so, I'm the nice one i'm not yeah i'm the nice one so yeah Anyway, this is a wrap. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, yep, this is basically a bit more of an Xbox, which was kind of interesting to go a deep dive into Xbox. We've never really done that before. But yep. yeah, next week we'll probably be back a bit more with PlayStation, maybe with Ghost or whatever topic we talk about. And yeah, like I said, hopefully I don't have any internet problems or whatever. But yeah, we're going to fill in some maybe, I don't know, some backlog or some nostalgia episode. We've got some ideas yeah, we've got of what we're going to do for the interim episodes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. We're going to cut it off now before it comes a two-hour long episode. But, um, yeah, join us uh, next Wednesday. New episodes every Wednesday. So, yeah, thank you and goodbye. Yep, bye-bye.